hundred one two thousand. I want three thousand for the entire day, and this is if you run the right way. So if you want to make money, you have to set some broke the rules. You have to put on an extra hundred, you have to carry three person. You have to carry three person back and one at front. You have to broke the, broke the three person rule. You have to carry four person in a taxi because the extra hundred dollar day that have to pay the loader man. That have to add to him thing where they so. So when the police them stop the man and say, why you have three a back? Why you have why, why you only have with the two you're supposed to carry a back? The man cannot afford to do that. Because if he carries three a back, he will not make enough money to pay his boss for the day. He will not make enough money to buy gas for the day. And he will not make enough money to give the side the side hustle. The people may hustle upon the stand. So these rules that are put in place are ridiculous because they do not consider the day to day activities of the persons who these rules are put in place to, for. So you have to think about the rationale behind everything. Why you see people out of them something? Yeah. You can't just jump and say, you just unruly, you just not listen, you just want COVID spread. No. Fine. COVID is spreading. Fine. A man that is not sick. And a man who needs to hustle, go out there and hustle will put himself at risk to catch covid will put himself at risk to spread covid to ensure that his basic needs and his children basic needs are met a lot of us who are here talking and jumping and saying oh them for listen them for turn of them yeah they're not supposed to do this they're not supposed to run this or they're not supposed to go this and one bag or something phone up to them na ball at night time for hungry phone up to them eat something every night yes Una have a hustle where you go out there go do it. But think about this. Your hustle where you do. Me could say, you yeah, sell natural juice. And your natural juice hustle, it will help you and it will feed your family and everything. Suppose 10 more men look upon you and say, say yo, you are sell natural juice. At the intersection of Walter and Agley Park Road, and you make money. Suppose 10 more men come set up shop right beside you, come sell natural juice at the exact spot where you do it, I sell at the same price where you sell, probably even all cheaper, and I sell them in a bigger buckle than where you sell. What is going to happen to your hustle at that point in time? Hmm? Your hustle where you are, where you are doing now? You're also gone down the same. You know? So if you used to normally make five thousand dollars a day after the hustle, that five thousand dollars I got cut to the minimum in half. So remember, say your lifestyle was already accustomed to making five thousand dollars a day. When your life, when you're also cut down, to only make three thousand or two thousand five hundred dollars per day. What is going to happen to you and the expenses and the lifestyle that you were set on dealing with? Hmm. What is going to happen to you and your family and everybody who are dependent on the us that you are making? So when you look and say, oh, them does do that, better them go look work and whatever. Suppose them come look your work. If them come look your work, you are going to the same boat with them in a, or probably even worse. A lot of people don't understand this. Everybody can do the same hustle. Everybody cannot have the same work. Everybody can have the same expenditure. Everybody can do the same thing. If everybody did supposed to go look at work at the institution where you work, guess what happened? Your boss are going to start paying you less. Supply and demand. Simple. Simple as that. The reason that it is that you get the pay or the salary that you get is because whatever it is that you are doing, only a certain amount of people can do it at that same specified time. That's why they can afford to pay you that, that you are getting. But if more people, if an abundance or a glut of people end up trying to do or starting or be, begin to do the job that you are doing, the employer will have the pick of the litter where if you are unwilling to do it for less, he will be able to find three or four persons who are willing to do it for half of the, what you are collecting now. So when you jump and say, why them not do this? Why them not do that? You cannot do that. You can't do that. No. 
I am not going to sit and jump up and do like everybody and say Andrew Olness is an idiot. I am not going to say that. Because Andrew Olness does nothing at all by himself. What I am going to jump and say, what a lot of persons are afraid to say, are, are, are reluctant to say, the people that are advising Andrew Olness are idiots. The people them, when they have them circle, the, the think tank, the people them, when they sit down on the table them and, 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 and devise these strategies are idiots. They have no sense whatsoever. They do not care about the everyday man. They do not care about these people are totally out of touch and out of sync with society. They don't have a clue what they are doing. All of the man them way, they are they, sit down. The ministry, the, all of the people that work for the Ministry of Health. All of the people that mean work for the Ministry of National Security. All of the people them will work for the Ministry of Finance. All of the people them will work for, in a commerce. All of these people will work at all of these social development foundations or social development in, um, industries. All of these people need to pack up and guard the yard. As a people, our voice needs to be heard. We don't have to block road and burn tires to get our message across. Just as how they lock down the country, we as people need to unite and do the same. I believe that too. You understand? But as I tell you now, all of these people who are there advising the Prime Minister, they should be lined up in the middle of half a tree and they should be lashed. Some corporate punishment need to do to them because they are they are abusing the country. All of these people. Now a lot of people always look at me and point fingers and say triple X. You chat too much because you are part of the problem and you are this and that. But remember, I am not an elected official. I am not an elected official. You understand? I am not an elected official. Nobody voted for me to put me in power. I do not work for the government. I am not an advisor to Andrew Olness. So, I am the one who is living this and seeing the people who are living. And if I am somebody else who is walking and looking, remember the onus is not on me to protect the country. No? That is not where the onus is. That I, am not, I have not been tasked with that job. Whatever it is that I am employed to do, I do it to the best of my ability. So these persons who are employed to do so and are not doing it to the best of their ability should be fired. For the person say, what should he do then? I am listening. Before I even started to list out what he's doing wrong, I ensure that I for about 15 or 20 minutes, I spoke about what he should do. You understand? Maybe they all know all know exactly what they are doing they are probably profiting from this it drives up profits when the, when people have to bombard stores that is true but i, I but honestly i me feel for believe and i and, and i not even say me feel i will not i will not i will not i choose not to believe that the people i choose not to believe that the people who are in charge of this country are doing this for spite. I rather blame ignorance. I rather, I feel, I God know. I don't know if me probably naive, but I rather blame ignorance. I rather give them the benefit of the doubt for say them really and truly don't know no better. I, I will not force myself to believe that these people are willingly forcing people to suffer. Sophie 25 said, I'm trying to kill poor people. I, Sophie, I, I, Sophie, me not go believe that. Me rather, me shoot my head in the sand. Me not go believe, say, the people that we are lead the country are, of, are that evil, are, are, are that tyrannical. I really and truly, I will not believe that, Sophie. I will not believe that. The people them could never be so wicked and gruesome and heartless for that. They, them could never, it is impossible. That Jamaican people were born and grew at Jamaica. We live among and walk among us as Jamaicans. Really and truly want people to suffer. Are willingly are forcing people to suffer. 
I rather to believe and I feel I take comfort in believing that these people honestly don't know what they are doing. I take comfort. So me, 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 me take the solace in that. So them don't know what they are doing. I give them the benefit of the doubt. You understand? This that makes no sense. Give a reason why your government would want to kill you. People need to stop. Exactly. Because if them kill we, if the government literally kill we, who them are gonna govern? <laughs> that is why me, me can't, it can't make sense to me. You understand? It can't make sense to me. Say them want to kill we off. Because if them kill we off, them not nobody. Because are the poor people them, are the poor people them and the disenfranchised people run up and down and vote for them. You know? If you kill the people them, we have vote for you, oh, you stay in a power. And we know for a fact that government love power and who in a power fight for stay in a power so them knowingly killing the people them where I vote for them just don't add up it just don't make no sense you understand me I say it just wouldn't make no sense somebody say me naive well me don't know if I'm naive me naive you know you, you understand me I say I don't know if I'm if, if, if I this is the first this happening. This is just bigger than them. That's how I feel. I feel like say this are just something with them really and truly are ill-equipped to deal with. The persons in power are ill-equipped to do this. First of all, what is the Ministry of Finance? What a theme background? The Ministry of Health? What a theme background? You understand? Him, him probably never deal with no, this are the first epidemiological fallout him, him a deal with. You understand? Most of these persons don't know how to do in them situation. Yeah. You understand? The Prime Minister, the person who is in charge of the country, Andrew Wallace is not the best scholar. That is a fact. That's a something we know. The way him talk, you can see him. He's not the best scholar. He's a very char charismatic individual. That is the truth. I have to give him that. He's an extremely charismatic individual. And he has the ability to get people to follow him. You understand? That is very good in a leader. Also, you need to be intelligent. And I don't think he is the sharpest tool in the shed. I don't think he's the, he's the most intelligent person. You understand? And I think that that is what is... He's going through the, the test and the rigors. He might go through the ringer right now. You understand? And because he might not the most mentally functional person. I think that is what is causing a lot of the bottleneck because him not really sit down and listen to the things them with the, with him advisors them and say and I second guess them. Because some them things are some simple question. You understand? Zin? So that's some simple question we, we ask when somebody tell you say all right do this a simple thing for you look and say but if me do this then that not gonna happen what me i gonna do when that happen and i don't think he's asking the right questions to his advisors he's just taking whatever they say whatever they give him to read off a paper he might do it what do you have the cleaner the one little question and answer something with him and jesus christ it showed him up so much it showed him up so much this is the time where we don't need charisma. This is the time where charisma take a backbench to intelligence. Me I tell you this dog. You understand me I say? My question is, what are to do? Go and talk the vaccine, take the vaccine. We don't know nothing about to walk free. People, you see the vaccination issue here, as me say, are your personal belief, whatever it is you want. I am vaccinated and I take my vaccine in the people. Me, me vaccinated, you know, me choose, me do my research, and me look at my thing, and me set, and me think, me listen to the anti-vaxxers, me listen to the pro-vaxxers, me listen to the pros, me listen to the cons, and me look, and me think, and to myself, it seemed like the best decision for me to make. I am not forcing my choice onto anybody, but if you, you, it all it takes for you, same like you're sitting and I listen to me, right, or so, you can go and go do some research for yourself. If it work out for you, I advise you to go. I advise everyone to go and take the vaccine based on my research, but if you go and research, and you know, see it fit for you i cannot force you and i will not call you stupid i will not say you're this or you're tearing down it is your choice because it for you to ingest something that is going to change the chemical um, composition of your body it's supposed to be your choice you understand zin olande they need to seek overseas advice pm would love to resign now yo somebody said the pm would love to resign you must say mad 
that man would have never resign. All in time, Jamaica catch a fire and a bundle, you never resign. You need to understand how politicians stay, especially in this country. Them addicted to power. Them, them might resign. Wa. You understand me? I say, yo, addicted to what? Them man and a bomb ball, you that at all. That so called leader do not care. Me. You know what? You know what? What research? Somebody said, what research did you do? All right. The research I'm do on the vaccine was I went and I and I and I all right me have a little me have a slight background in a medicine everybody know my degree in a registered nurse me have a, a little slight background but in a biochemistry so me I me know how vaccines work you understand me know ex, me know me know no, well me like I say me know exactly me have an understanding of how vaccines work so based on what was proposed I did my reading you understand and I and I and I listened to journals that was done. I listened to presentations that were that were done. And based on my 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 limited knowledge, you understand, I was probably able to comprehend some of what was said, and it seemed like it made sense to me. You understand? So I chose to be vaccinated. You understand? Do you believe they are getting financial support from people taking the vaccination? Of course, I think that they are doing getting financial support because at the end of the day, this vaccine thing is still a business, irrespective of the fact that it is something that is going to supposedly to help us as a as a as a as a as a, as a, as a um environment as a community. It is also a business. The creators of this vaccine also need to turn a profit. And so the, the, you need to understand this because it is profitable doesn't automatically mean that it is bad you understand not because they are giving incentives to do something that don't automatically mean that it is bad you understand remember this you know when we are picking our mother give you medicine this might be a, a frig up analogy still but when your mother give you something a medicine your mother used to crush up all the tablet them and put them in a syrup and give the tablet for eat in the syrup or give the medicine with little syrup or little honey for take but it's good for you. But the incentive to take it was the sweet because we love sweet. So little syrup and little honey was the incentive to take the medication that we didn't want to take or the medicine that we didn't want to take. You understand me, I say? So, it, in, exactly. It doesn't stop you from getting it for real. You understand? Now, what we need to understand, the vaccine, it doesn't stop you from contracting the virus. What it does, it prevents you from suffering from the adverse effects of the virus. Now, everybody's chemical composition in their body is totally different. Everybody's going to react to different things differently. Not because I took the vaccine and I didn't have an adverse effect. That doesn't mean that you won't. That doesn't mean that your family won't. That doesn't mean that my family won't. Everybody is different. You understand? You have to know your underlying conditions. You have to know your family history, your family medical history. You have to know what it is that's wrong with you, how physically fit you are, um, what are your allergies. You have, to, you, have to, you have to think for yourself, people. So do the research for yourself and do what is best for you. I was vaccine, fully vaccine when I was a baby. <laughs> it wasn't made to stop you from catching it. It better child. Yes, exactly. So the virus, the, the vaccine that was, was created was not created like it's like a polio vaccine and all them something created so that so, so that you can't get the get get polio and so it go. This vaccine is something that create it they, them introduce a weaker variant of the virus to create a, a create to help your immune system to be, to be able to fight. The virus when it is whenever it is that you contract it that a way it do you understand basically in a nutshell in a layman's term so it introduces the pathogen to your, to your body in a weakened state and your body train to beat that so after your body knows all right boom it can beat that now when you get reintroduced to it outside in a, in a natural occurrence your body is more equipped now to deal with it so you might not need to go up and no maybe no no oxygen you might not have the the full Eddie, the aches and pains, the, the loss of smell, the loss of taste, the blindness, the, the, the erectile dysfunction, the diarrhea, the nausea, all of them stuff, you might not have them someday when you do take the vaccine. You understand? Somebody say I trick them, I trick you. You know, so I'm not going to go that something there. Anyways, people may have one more topic I want to cover before I come out of this. One more topic I want to cover. I'm going to left that, I'm going to end the live here and come back with the next live. Because the like, next live, what I'm going to do? It need a topic by itself. Me have a talk about the police them where arrest the woman on a Clarendon market. 
So, you can log in back on the next side of the life.